I've been using these two plugins for a while and I really do like these two so and I do recommend it and it's also good for productivity so these are um, compass plugins so bust out your you know CCSM and in here the first one I'll talk about is this one the extra WM actions um, I like this because you can actually you know use the high key instead of doing the normal way this is how you would uh, normally do it you right click on this and always on top or always visible on workspace don't really like doing that uh, I like using my hotkey so the only two hotkeys I use in here is the always on top and sticky and I set it to shift control E and shift control C uh, so let me show you what exactly what that does here so you see how you open a, a new window and you can still focus from different windows if you do that however if you use the always on top um, you see even if you click on this it will not focus on it no more because this one has the higher pri priority right and the other one is the sticky uh, basically if you have like virtual virtual uh, desktops and I have like four here right uh, it only shows up in one by default but if you want to do the sticky it'll show up on all your your workspaces here and the other windows are not applied it only the ones that you want right so that's that one. Uh, the next one is uh, really cool too. Uh, last one I did was uh, the was it the arrow snap scripting, and people are telling me use grid because it's better. And I checked it out, and it's really good. I I really like the way that they uh, design this. Uh, but not everything, but this is grid here. All right. Uh, the default keys I didn't really like it because you have to use two fingers, so I actually uh, set up my own hot keys but let me show you uh, what this does alright but uh, I'll get back to you on that so basically you have your numpad which is the right side of your keyboard alright and you see how it's designed it uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and that's a like a visual way to see your uh, tally so you see how 1 is at the bottom right 1 here will be 3 here 7 here 9 here so let me show you that off here so I push one, it'll go on the bottom here, three on the other side, seven up top there, and uh, nine on the other one, and five is the center, so it's like maximize, and you see five here, and four and six is kind of like arrow snap, look at that, four this side, six that side, and eight and two is, look at this, eight, you know, the, the top part, and two is the bottom part, so I really dig that, but this one has like three modes of tallying here. So you push like one three times. Look at that. You have three t uh, different uh, tallying right there. Same thing with uh, all the other ones. You know, three here, three here, right? So that's what I like with that. But um, uh, you know, I set up my own keyboard here. So let me show you what I I use. Uh, so I use is let me, see, let me show you here. Because you know you don't want to use two-handed for this. You, you, I use one-handed for this, and uh, uh, your super key, all right? That's that's what I use uh, to activate this. So it's a combo. So uh, this is the one I use, super key, and then uh, I replace it uh, exactly the same. It's just that I use uh, this for one, uh, this is for two, and three here, four, you know, five, six, seven eight nine and it's really convenient for one-handed uh, so my pinky will be on the super key here right and uh, my three other fingers will be here here in that uh, column so that's how I set it up and uh, if you want to do that go ahead and do that so that's it for um, you know the WM actions and uh, the grid feature the grid feature uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't restore your um, windows back to uh, how you had it before. That's the only thing I don't like about the grid feature. Other than that, it's really convenient and I use it daily. Uh, so that's it for uh, those two.